Attention, attention. All niggas on deck, all niggas on deck. Welcome to the Just Bag channel. I am Young Bray Street. Lil Mattress in the mm. building. Mm. L I L M A T T R E S S. I pop every time I sit. Yo. Shit. You know what they're watching. Tell them what they're watching. You know what you're watching. It's Watermelon. That. Mm-hmm. It's a battle it's a versus battle. Yes. pumpkin. Mm. Episode thirteen. Lucky thirteen. That's my numbers, right? There. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky number thirteen. Mm. Like it's hanging from a dice that's mm. on fire mm. in a rocker's right. fucking Trans Am. Yeah, it's a rocker's Trans Am. And fuck all that. Uh, thirteen is the most unlucky number. Bump that. Nigga, I was born on a thirteenth day of a month. Ooh. And that's what an F a month. Month. You know what I mean? And uh I feel pretty damn uh, lucky to be alive. Shit, nigga. So unluck these nuts. Ooh. Oof. There's bars in there. Somewhere. Unluck them. Unluck these nuts, nigga. <laughs> Shit. Man, so it is April second. Mm. Easter just passed. Tell them about the uh, origin of Easter. The origin of Easter. Jesus. J. Christ. Hop along bunnies. We don't know what the fuck's going on. I'm trying to figure this shit out. How did we get to a rabbit sneaking in your crib at night, leaving you shit from a nigga that's all holy? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I think something with the eggs and the hatching and the life. Uh, you know, I don't know the Rebirth. Bible. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Because it's the resurrection. Came back. Resurrection out the cave, mm-hmm. almost like a hatching. Like a hatching. What, was was the cave an egg? The cave the, was an egg. It was a vessel. It was the egg. Ooh. He's a little. Chi- so Jesus is like a chicklet. Not enough people. <laughs> not enough people use the word vessel. He, it was there. They should, because we are all vessels in this life, and Jesus was too. Uh, this ain't even a real me. This is just my vessel. <laughs> it's just my vessel, nigga. Just empty shells of, of of opportunity and truth. I, I don't know the truth, nigga. The truth is, we celebrate a bunny <laughs> that lays eggs. Uh, lays eggs, then hides them for you to find. <laughs> it colors them. Because Jesus came back to life? Right. Mm. There, There is some symbolic there. There's always some shit that, you know, had some kind of meaning. And then, you know, people are just like, oh, I'm just going to run with it. And, and, and that's, that's what it is. And we're just going to say, we're going to tell your children there's a bunny, a big ass. Now, I always thought about this as a kid. Have you ever thought about how big, like, you know, you think of Santa Claus, you know, probably the size of a regular guy, <laughs> uh, you know, tooth fairies, probably regular size. Yeah. What does the fucking Easter Bunny really, what size is that nigga? Like, is he a, is he a six footer? You know, they got him coming in at six, <laughs> at least at least six, six feet. Because you see, there's videos online. Kids are losing their fucking mind when they see him. Like, ah! like Yo, they don't want to like, be around a six foot bunny. <sighs> And where, what kind of fucking mutated, uh, morphin fucking rabbit is this guy? That See, that's what it is, is that they're doing the experiments and they're cross-pollinating and cross-breeding. They're making these mm. six-foot bunnies. They don't six even know that it's real. With magical power sneak in your house and leave you a basket, get fucked around and get an egg at your face, nigga. Listen. We do, I mean, I don't have kids, so I don't, but mm. I mean, in the general, we do tell our kids some fucked up shit. We do. It's- and- it's just on a, um, like a lot of things in life, it's just because, no, that's what we've been doing the whole time. But when you think about it, you're like, why the fuck are we lying to people? Like, instead, <laughs> why don't you just tell your kid? I mean, once again, I don't have kids, so, right. I don't get, so you can't say anything because you don't have kids, yeah, but fuck you, this is a podcast, this is what we do, we talk, we do things, we say stuff. <laughs> say stuff Listen. about things that might not even occur. I do have a child, and I lie to mine all the time. Exactly. Just, <laughs> that's what we do. Yep. I was lied to, and I just feel like I got to pass the buck. Exactly. <laughs> <That's laughs> they fuck with me, I'm fucking with you. Like, Listen, they lied to me, so I, I was taught this, I have to lie to you. And yep. then you'll get older, you'll lie to your kids too. But as long as you know it's a lie, and that's the key, folk. Know this shit's a lie. You know, don't run around believing all this shit they're pushing. Yeah. Because it's weird. Like, instead of telling our kids, like, yeah, you first have a set of teeth that come in and they're baby teeth and you lose those and then your adult teeth come in. We're just like, oh, you lost a tooth. Put it on your pillow and a fucking fairy's going to come in and leave you money. Like, what? <laughs> it's a fairy. And my daughter is banned from watching this episode. <laughs> right? Because she's still involved, nigga. And I just like, I kind of feel like it still captures the essence of being a child. So, mm. you know what? Do that because YouTube and all this shit on the internet, it's got your 
show kids thinking like I'm gonna show my titties by the time I'm 11, and that's right? not right. You sh- I can't be. A yeah, kid. I mean, I guess it's good for still them to kid. have some hope for something. Yeah. I guess. But, oh, still, still. Pretend. But I still remember when you find out. <laughs> then it's like, oof. But maybe that's also a le- listen. Maybe yeah. that's also a lesson. Mm. To let them know, like, hey, man, not everything's what it seems. Right. And uh, you're going to be disappointed in life plenty of times. <laughs> and like, hey, first of all, the person that you trusted wow. most in your life just lied to you about like seven <laughs> things across the table. About you know just what? like, we just had a poof me on the show, nigga. <laughs> that's a poof right there. Nigga, you teach your kids the lie, the value of a lie, and the value of disappointment, nigga. That is. Tell me lie. Woo! Drop the pen, nigga. I like it. And that's what I am going to tell my kid when they ask me. When she asked me, why did you lie to me? Listen. It was all a lesson. I a lesson. It Yo, was listen. A, it was all a lesson. <laughs> listen. It was all a lesson. Ooh, that is what she's going to get. And it'll be a firm sit down and talk to. Yep. Daddy knows best, baby. I know that a lie. I mean, This had to happen. Bro. Right. The first person that should lie to you in life should be me. Mm. So it softens the blow when these other niggas lie to you. <laughs> right? And it's got to be weird, too, though, because imagine if your kid is the only kid in school that knows that Santa Claus is, Oof, you know, not, not real. Not and then the they're man. walking around like, these motherfuckers are thinking these this These niggas is real. dumb. Like, well, she's got yeah. some already. Like, she's in uh, third grade right now. And, uh, and you know, that's right about then. She's eight going on nine. I think this yep. is her last year because there's already kids in class. They're already sitting there like, she comes home, Dad. You know what? You know what Makai said. Makai said, "Said it's not real." He, that's what he said. So I look at her. I go, oh, "What do you think?" I think they're not going to get anything, right? Right? They're not going to get shit. Mm-hmm. True, true, true. Fuck going, Makai. Yeah, you fuck know Makai. What I mean? Fuck him for being named after an actor. He He'll say weird ass Disney name. <laughs> Tell Pfeiffer. Yeah. You know what fuck Tell that Pfeiffer that, that that wig in Eight Mile looked right. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Who told her that was the best that wardrobe wasn't idea? Even <laughs> close to. <laughs> I remember I used to listen to um uh I like Rob Zombie's horror movies that he makes and I listen okay. to uh the uh Zom- you know they they do the commentary track okay and he had talked about that that that's one of the things that he really 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 focuses on is the wigs in his movies because he would watch other movies and like <laughs> Rob I'm sure Rob Zombie wasn't watching Watch Eight Mile but <laughs> he would watch other movies and he would say the wig would just fuck with him or right. the facial hair whatever right, it may right. be when it just, looked and it's like so fake and so off putting it's like no yep. that doesn't work. Like, who else had a weird fucking wig? Uh, I, I can't front. What you call it? He looks weird with cornrows to me. It's fucking, uh, uh, um, the, oh, the oh, guy. Forrest Whitaker. Forrest, Forrest Whitaker and fucking Ghost Dog. Yeah. The nigga had cornrows. It looked weird. His head yeah, doesn't yeah. look right with the shit. Like, nigga, why? And that's funny because you think that, like, that was probably 15 years ago. And we thought of him as old then. Right. And now it's a, yeah, but no, he shouldn't be out there. Yeah, no. Thugging I, and bugging. I, yeah. I think he even had a wig. Did he have a wig when he played that, um, the, fi- the bipolar fucking president in Africa, well, that was a pretty dope movie. Wasn't Probably it? he used to, he look, looks like he had the uh, that old Steve Harvey rug. Remember that <laughs> Steve Harvey wig where it was just like it looked like it made the sound. Yo, shout out to the head. wigs if niggas know about this old school movie, nigga. Shout out to Meteor Man. Whoa, nigga, the wigs, the blonde wigs them niggas had in that shit. Have you ever seen that shit? I, I, oh, no. nigga. Oh, I remember James like the Earl preview, Jones but... had a blonde high top, nigga. That's Wig. not right. <laughs> Woo. And it was Tell like... Tell me why. Why are we slaves to the mind, nigga? Just get over that shit. So, yeah, Easter was all right. Uh, I actually had to work, nigga, in my other job. So I just... Wag, 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 wag. You know? But you know what's interesting? At that job I was at, the job I'm at, last year I worked the same fucking Easter, the same place. I got... Just so happened it fell on a week and I had to work there. And uh this year Easter fell on a week. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, it don't always so <laughs> But no, I was like uh and I had this like fucking yo, I'm not gonna lie, I had this big fucking kid moment sitting in his vehicle, was doing rounds and shit, riding around property, getting in low. the vehic. And I turned into this big fucking kid, cause here I am sitting. And what hops along? A fucking bunny hops in front of the Saw car. The and cross. I'm like, nigga, it is destiny. Like, mm-hmm. I turned it to a kid. So then I'm leaving work last night at midnight, walking to my car, and something fucking darted out quick. I'm like, what the fuck? Another bunny crossed me, nigga. I am meant to see bunnies, nigga, on Easter when I'm working. They let you know, like, hey, hey even though you couldn't be there, we're here for you. <laughs> yeah, yo, I grabbed the little, it up. I grabbed a little plate to go and shit, you know? What's the other... Uh... 
what else do we lie to kids about? There's, um, you know, obviously Santa's the Zan, big one. Tooth Fairy. Tooth. Uh, Easter, Easter Bunny. Bunny. Uh, uh, St. Patrick's Day, leprechauns and shit. Yeah? Yeah. Wow. Uh, leprechauns are real. Uh, Boogeyman? <laughs> Boogeyman. <laughs> that nigga gonna get you. Shit, you listen to, you, you look at some uh, old scriptures from the first Bible, that nigga, God was the boogeyman and that shit, mm. he gonna get you. He gonna do all this crazy shit and plagues and like, God, yo, this nigga's like, yo, he don't like us. <laughs> For real, if you do read the Bible, God does not come across as like a good character. Right. Where you'd be like, In the I'm New not Testament, sure if I wanna they, know. They changed no, it in the New Testament, like, no, he, he loves you, he loves all of you. Yeah. But that first one, but it's like, my whole thing is like, isn't the first one supposed to be the, the realest nigga? I don't mm. know. You know, it's that old money, nigga. That's that small face money. You know what I'm saying? That old Bible's that old face money, nigga. Old Talk money. to these niggas. Boy, <laughs> speaking of old. Old. How long does that lady have left, man? Her team lost. How Ooh, long does she have left? Sister what, what? Jean, Sister Jean. What's the death team. pool on her, man? What's the countdown? Uh, because that team was keeping her alive. Those, I'm going to go with minutes. Those, <laughs> those muscular black brothers were coming over to her. Because now, I mean, when's that happening again? She was getting that adrenaline that Team, there was a lot of uh, uh, wiry, right, uh, wiry white boys on that Loyola. wiry whites, <laughs> the wiry uh, whites on that Loyola team, and they were holding it true and strong. Mm -hmm. um, but you know uh, that she whispered to one of them like, "I still get wet." You know, it was. <laughs> like when they bend down and talk to her uh -huh. kisser, she's pulling her, their little hand is like cuffed and just cradle that nigga sack. Just exactly, look at granny cradle the sack. You know that she licked at least one or two earlobes. She's <laughs> like, mm. let you know, two, I still got it, young man. Two finger ball. Discount, nigga. Just right? one, just low. <laughs> tweak it once. But she, you know what's crazy? Like they, they didn't have it. They had a real slim chance at the end of the game. It's like a almost a minute and a half, two minutes to go. Yeah, that bitch was getting wheeled out. <laughs> like they had the, the commentators like, it's "Where's it. she going?" <laughs> not a, like, the bitch, she knows it's over. Niggas like, yeah, this is over. these niggas suck. And that's the <laughs> thing too with with college fans. Uh, who who were they playing? Michigan. Michigan. I'm not talking about Michigan fans in particular, but you know that college can college fans get rowdy and college kids get rowdy. Mm. And in that situation, <laughs> man, if she was on the court, there might have been, you know, might have been a heckler. Brad <laughs> might have ran up on her like, fuck you, brother. Oh, that's what you happens. That picture, yeah. Fuck you, sister Jean. Like, you know that there could have been somebody <laughs> from Michigan that hops down. You know, Brad grabs the back of her and she's wheeling, wheeling her around the court and shit, you know? <laughs> Throw she, water bottles at her shit. Yeah, like, what happened now? What happened now? <laughs> fuck you. But what you call called it out? Shout out to um, a Jalen Rose grandma, Miss yeah. Rose. I don't think that's her last name. She got a different last name. But yo, she's a hundred year old thug. <laughs> and she came out and she waited. She goes, I have to say, Sister Jean, it's over. You're going uh, down to the blue. Yo, she was talking hella hard. That yeah. nigga Jalen Rose, like, that's my, that my grandma. My grandma beat your grandma up. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> Beef in college b ball. Just uh, straight up wheelchair fights. Yeah. Just, yeah. Oh, so, I mean, it's going down. Monday. So who's in the finals? Uh, shit, nigga, they playing right now. They're playing they right are now. Playing right, motherfucking now. It is Michigan this Monday. Michigan versus Villanova Wildcats. And I versus watched, the V. I watched the Nova Wildcats. Like those motherfuckers shoot the three. They had in the first half, within the first before the first half was out, thirteen three pointers hit by seven different people. Going Steph on yeah, them, going oh, Curry. Was, they out there, son. The no look. I think niggas was looking in the Raptors when they shot them. Like, wow. Going in, I'm not even. I don't even think you know. But they live and die by that three though. So they just had a hot night because them niggas could probably. They probably. They might be dying right now. Mm. Shoot, shoot, shoot. We're, oh, we're, oh, we're losing. Live and <laughs> die by the three. Yeah. It's so. the ball to shit. Okay. So shit, nigga. You know it's going down right now. Maybe I give a live game update, nigga. I don't know. By the right, time it, niggas see this shit, you're going to know the final. So I was going to say, difference? like, if you're coming to uh, the Just Big Podcast Network for your sports news, <laughs> you're a little late on them. Yeah, the Eagles have won the Super Bowl, nigga, two months later. You niggas right. Say, I'm just noticing. But we do appreciate you for joining us. And uh, if you're watching us on the YouTube video cast right now, we appreciate that. You can mm -hmm. also listen to us, mm -hmm. just the audio on, you know, Apple. Apple yeah, Apple. 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 Apple podcast you know the itunes we're out there on stitcher podcast addict overcast spotify you can stream it on spotify that's a beautiful thing that's where i listen to a lot of podcasts at google play we're up on there like i said we're on itunes we're on stitcher we're on watermelon versus pumpkin.com that's watermelon vs pumpkin 
Simplecast.com. That's our own little personal website down there. Sponsored by, uh, uh, powered by Simplecast. Simple. So, um, keep your cast. Yeah, man. If you're out there, we got some people out there too, man. A couple different countries. Some out in Japan. We, uh, of course, you know, America, where we're from, we're on there. We had one download from Mexico. So, whoever's out there. Yeah, Mexico. Exactly. My people. And uh, what's the hotline number? It's 203. Was it 694? Never. 203 594 6977. I knew it was a 69 in there, nigga. 6977. Doing 69 and 77. Think of it that Woo. way. That's what they was doing. So, yeah, 203 594 6977. That's our hotline. You can give it a call, man. Drop us a line. Let us know if you want a shout out. Let's, mm. Let us know if you want some advice on something. Mm. We are not qualified at all, but we'll give that advice. <laughs> you would get the you most know? horrible advice ever from me, nigga. Just exactly. <laughs> lead a bitch. Like, I, she just was going to the grocery store, not bitch cheating. Leave Exactly. <laughs> leave her. Leave her. <laughs> she says she loved me. She lying, nigga. She lying, nigga. You ever smell that little faint on her breath? Yeah, that's another nigga. Mm-hmm. That's another nigga dick right there. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, 203-594-6977 is the hotline. You can text it or call it. Leave a message. Mm-hmm. Talk some shit. Mm-hmm. Talk some greatness. Let us know if you want a shout out because we are out here. Mm-hmm. Hotline thing. And just mm-hmm. a little update. 44 to 30 Villanova. The Nova boys with the threes are up by 14 in the second half, nigga. Wow. So it looks like Villanova might take it because maybe, especially in college, there has been, but that big comeback is rough. It's rough. It can come back. It'll be an epic thing, and I'll be like, oh, shit, I wish I saw it, you know. But these niggas don't miss. Nova... And I and I work with somebody that she went Nova. to she went to Villanova and like she's all pumped up and full of piss and vinegar these days. And where the fuck did that saying come from? I don't know. <laughs> I know when people use it, but I don't know what's the origin of that. You're Who's all full pissing of piss, on vinegar. You're all full of piss and vinegar today. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Like, I get what you're saying, but who started that shit? Like, was somebody really, you know, had piss vinegar? And vinegar, right? You know, is it they're bitter? Does that mean they're bitter? Who knows? Fucking know these people. Old people don't know shit. Who else is bitter? Is uh, mm, F A B O L O. Yeah, Fabo. Fabo got caught up in some domestic violence mm-hmm. allegedly. Mm-hmm. Um, they're saying that he punched his girl in the face seven times, knocked out her two front teeth. Oof. I'm not saying this didn't happen, mm. but to put a counter argument to it, bitch, where's the selfie? Right. Because especially people in the new age of everything, teeth, right. man, you have two knocked out teeth. Fabulous punch you in the face seven times. Yeah, he's a you know skinny dude, but right. any guy punches a girl in the face seven times, there's going to be some right. demonstrous effects. I, and it's crazy because I just can't even see him as a fighting type. No, <laughs> my thing is you know if he did it, yeah, he's a piece of shit. But mm. the video that they released so far is just of him arguing with his uh, I don't know if it's wife, girlfriend, whatever, and her right. father. And he said some stuff in there, but Fabulous's lawyer actually hit with a hotline where he was like, what you saw is a video of an argument. If an argument was illegal, everyone would be in jail. And I was like, he's got a good lawyer, man. He's got a good lawyer. (laughs) Yeah. But I think one of the lines he said, what are you going to try? He said, I got a bullet with your name on it. Yep. But they took, I think he had two guns at his crib. Two guns. Uh, two guns. Uh, how one about shout out to Styles P for the worst line ever when he said two toothbrushes up. <laughs> two toothbrushes up. <laughs> but niggas in the bing know. Yeah, that's what you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. We're, we about to stab him. We about to poke him. We about to poke him. got to get that sharp end and get that nigga in the gut. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, did he get arrested or is this just allegations? He right got now? arrested and uh, charged with a couple things, but he's out on bail. So, that's the interesting thing bail. to see maybe if we can catch how much the bail was and right. if it's... Because the other thing, too, man, ah, I don't know, man, if you because he was charged with terrorist acts and terrorist. Yeah. No, no, excuse, excuse me. Terrorist threats. Threats. But the thing about that is with the Patriot Act that came out in like 2001 mm. after 9-11, anything that could possibly endanger the life of, of an American. It's considered a terrorist act. Yeah. So uh, straight up. A jay- terrorist threat. Yeah. yeah. Terrorist threat or a terrorist act. So straight right. up jaywalking. If you jaywalk because. You're putting the life of an you're potentially putting the life of an American in danger who uh, should be able to drive, but you're in the middle of the street. Could be like you can you can get wow. charged with terrorism for jaywalking. It's shit. a horrible loophole, That's, so they can throw that whoa. shit on anyone. Like you know, <laughs> Fabulous is not Just, a fucking terrorist. He's an American <laughs> rapper. He's not a fucking terrorist. You know? Yeah, <laughs> that nigga don't that nigga don't eat swine. He eat swine. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's just another probable cause, another thing to just say, give it, give him another thing to fucking arrest niggas on. I, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't get it. My thing is, 
maybe her lawyers advised her not to, but man, especially with how thirsty women are and all that right. shit right now. And she's one of those fucking, is she like a uh, loving hip hop chick? Or yep, yep. Uh, yeah, see, you know, there's some drama shit anyways, yeah. you know. So I, I know, you know, like I said, if she's a victim, she's a victim. And I feel bad for her and what she's gone yeah. through, and you know. But if it's if you just in, you know somebody in that kind of setting and those kind of shows, that I kind of find hard to believe sometimes, man. That's yep. just me personally. Like, and that's the thing. If it was an argument, and then this girl's lying about, you know, no, he right. punched me in the face, blah blah blah. That's some bullshit too, because women do that. But well, if, when they're gonna release this, um, when you go and say you got beat, you should have the marks. But shit, right? She might fucking slam her head against the wall for all we know. <sighs> Truth, John Wilkes. Because <laughs> they had yeah. a video that they showed. It looked like the end of everything. Where right. it was like the end and like they're putting Fab back in the car. But also, who right. knows? Maybe it happened later. And of course, if it did happen, bury him under the right. jail. All yep. that stuff, you know? She's crazy. Crazy uh, uh, crazy pretty bitches. Like, she's very pretty, but yep. crazy thick and shit. I was like, oh, damn, she's pretty as hell. But mm -hmm. that bitch crazy. You know, it, it ain't, no, ain't no sense to it, man. You know, women get indoctr indoctrinated with that crazy because of how they're treated their entire life like you're better off being an ugly duckling and then rising to some greatness over than right. like if a girl's pretty her entire life she gets treated different her entire life and right. like sometimes that puts that shit into their head of like oof I can right. just do what I want right and that's why it's and always the shit uh, worked like Casey Anthony she killed her fucking kid right and because she was kind of pretty she got off like right and and it's and that's that move where you see uh you know certain dudes do the uh the real pretty girls uh they gotta peg them down yeah. Like, you wore those shoes? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know what I mean? Because they're so used to motherfuckers throwing themselves at them mm -hmm. all the time that that motherfucker that's not going to give them that flow is going to be more appealing to them. Yep. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, you all right. You know what I mean? That's a peg down move. In his head, like, yo, she bad as shit. You know what I mean? Like, exactly. she bad as shit, but you can't tell. She hear that shit all the time. Mm -hmm. So they know how to play that game, man. And you Pegging know, and egging. You fuck around and get caught up in the mix, nigga, and it's make a pancake out your ass. Right? <laughs> but yeah, man, I, hopefully Fabulous didn't do that. Hopefully it was just an argument and things are getting misconstrued and mm -hmm. all that stuff. But speaking of jail, and this is probably not a rumor, you know, uh, X Cone, give it to you. X Cone. Waiting for you to come home from jail. <laughs> oh, and it's God. not going to happen for a while because DMX back in jail for a year. Mm. Here's my surprise face. Mm. Oh, again. Mm. It well, doesn't a violation, exist. right? Uh, violated oh, no. his parole, mm -hmm. whatever it is. Uh huh. Uh, <laughs> <sorry>. <laughs> Out on bail for his out of jail. Oh, man. Doing drugs, screaming. <sighs> yeah, man. Got. They hit him with the drug test mm. and. Uh, once again, here's my surprise face. The MX did not pass the drug test doing cocaina. Cocaina, cocaina. You know, he's been struggling for a while. And, and then the you, see, you see him fucking interviews of him when he talks about this shit. And he's like, well, I'm right where God's supposed to want me. Where I'm supposed to be. This is where God got me. And he's like, well, you don't think God would want you off drugs? This is, I, I, I'm exactly doing exactly what I want. I'm not going to quit. He said he wasn't going to quit. His yeah. son begged. I seen that older footage of his son basically crying to him with the you know, psychiatrist and he's like I'm not gonna quit mind your fucking business lady you know I don't need to come in for this shit like when X get all fired up I feel like I'm listening to track 6 and shit you know? <laughs> <laughs> mind your business lady <laughs> don't you people get into it <laughs> <laughs> Yo, when he did that, I was like, yo, this nigga X on his finest range. That's a performance, nigga. Right? Get in here, cuz. <laughs> you know, but he was like, his son was like saying at a young age, like, he's like, you know, you had a bunch of women around and then and that. He goes, well, you know, I kiss one of them out. People kiss me one of them out, you know. He's like, you understand, as a kid, you messing me up. Like, you're married to my mom, you know what I mean? Like, I have loyalty to mom. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? Seeing you kind of do shit, you're doing how you, he said, I sat, you know, this shit that, most people don't understand or uh, a lot of people put a blind eye to us like, you know, still like, I never, my kids don't know I smoke weed or they don't know what, like they're fucking listening and like I used to listen and watch, like I knew my mom was smoking weed and shit. Yep. I knew when those certain friends came and they went in that room that funny smell happened. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yep. you can't, you can't pretend like. Shout out to that funny smell. <laughs> you can't pretend like they don't know. I don't. My kids are yep. totally naive and dumb. Like, bro, I remember listen. being sat in front of the TV and like I, I have a crazy memory because literally my my mm. first memory in my entire life is being washed in the sink. Like, I have a snapshot <laughs> so in my fucking mind of being washed in the sink. But so that's like my first. You know, and I don't remember the entire bath. It's like I have that snapshot. Right, that's right. my first memory ever. But I remember being sat in front of the TV and 
all right, mommy and daddy, we're going to go take a shower now. <laughs> Word. Yeah, and you, so, like, it. then, yeah, I'm watching cartoons, but then you grow up and you have that memory and you're like, mm, these was motherfuckers was fuck. fucking. <laughs> that nasty, ma, you nasty, stinky you know lady. <laughs> but, yeah, kid, uh, parents are definitely naive to the things that kids can pick yeah, up it's on. Yeah, like, they listen. They know what's going on, man. Stop pretending. And if he's, you know, inebriated, if he's on drugs, if he's all fucked up, his... No, no, he ain't gonna notice. Yeah, he's gonna right. notice. Oh, what are you talking about? Have I ever never? His whole line is like, "Have I never loved you? Have I never loved you? Don't I love you?" He's like, "Yeah, but I'm, I'm kind of telling you the shit. I don't really approve what you be doing, Dad." Yeah, yeah but have I, have I done anything to you? Have I done anything? All right, okay. Yo, all right, I yell at your mother. We, we, we adults. We yell, you know. Yeah, mind I, your business, lady. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's like he has his own justification of like, no, no, I was good. And the kid's like, no, but this is what I'm trying to tell you. Right. He's like, no, 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 but I was good. It's like, no, dad, you weren't. <laughs> right? And they were saying too, man, he's got 15 fucking kids. He's got 15. Yep. Holy shit. X going to give it to you. <laughs> knock, knock. Open up the door. It's real. <laughs> so when he was going through those, that, that name, Lisa, Carla, and those are the, all the bitches he knocked up. You huh? know what slipping was about? About not being able to pull out of the pussy. <laughs> I'm slipping. I'm falling. Can't get up. I'm going to send that to Slip. my nephew, nigga. Oh, I hope you watch your nephew. Up. That's you, nigga. I I remember he told me he was having his second kid. I was barking on his ass. I said, nigga, the house is on fire. Get out. Right. What the f- is you falling asleep in the pussy? What is you doing, nigga? Get out of there. That's God, crazy, damn, man. You motherfuckers. But that's a shame for X. You know, I uh, I was just listening to some DMX the other day, reminiscing. Of, you know, I really enjoyed his energy, man. X had some shit. And you know what I'll tell you, bro? Don't go into the stuff that he dropped recently because oh, no, i have not heard any of that don't do I'm it i'm like flesh of my flesh blood of my blood oh yeah, yeah dark yeah. hell is hot and i think i don't maybe no ex- up to grand champ was grand cool champ, yeah um grand champ was definitely like you could tell he was not the same person right. but he still had some good songs like there's still a lot of good stuff on the great depression great depression yeah but but the first two are my most solid oh yeah I, my most go-to's you know and it's oh, like no, wait wait the third one with um was that the one with the big X on it? The, yeah. What, uh, what the fuck was it called? Um, then it was I X. I don't know. Was it and X? then there was X. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah, because, yeah. Um, and then there was X. That yeah. What these bitches want from it? Yeah. yeah, I was on that one. Okay. Somebody let me know. Yeah. So, all right. The first, the first three were. Ah! Uh, <laughs> 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 we gotta hit that note on these. You know, but the uh, first three were definitely your salads. You, you're oh, out yeah. there. You don't know DMX. You want to get familiar? Go to his first three albums. You know. Yeah. Dark and Hell is Hot, Flesh of My Flesh, Blood of My Blood, and um, and then, and then there was then X. X. Yeah, you know, those are the, your, your threes, and you feel the grump. Yeah. And that, that nigga's voice, his emotion, it makes you really want to just feel like mm-hmm. you're him. And I get it. If you're feeling down, that nigga's the one to say, "Oh, it's okay. I was there too." <laughs> and he made albums that you could listen to like the whole way through. Like right. DMX did. I mean, obviously he had singles, but he wasn't. Doing how hip hop now is a single driven community. Right. Like like people don't even drop and I, I albums. Res- and you gotta respect you know? his rawness when he talked and he was like, Yo, listen, I'm you know how art imitate you know how the streets, you know, it was everything has changed. And he was like, I was he said, I'm not a I'm not an artist, I'm not an industry artist, I'm an artist that's in the industry. You know mm. what I mean? Like, you know, like niggas, you know, don't you know, he said that people try to get molded and shit. He said they couldn't mold me, you know, I'm doing my own yep. fucking thing, you know. And I guess that's what they're saying Rough Riders was really built around. Cats doing that, you know, it's like not yeah. do your own thing, nigga. That's where the locks came to the locks. I mean, this story, and that's wild too, because he's told the story about getting hooked on coke and crack, and it was mm-hmm. after a robbery. They said after the robbery, really, fucking, they all came back, boom, boom, boom spreading stuff up, ah, you know, rolling up, and someone passed them something with some stuff in it, and they fucking hooked them. You know, that most was of the time they do, they chase that first high, man. Yep. It ain't going to find that's a mystery, nigga. It's like a unicorn, nigga. It doesn't really exist. Yeah. You had it once, and you're never going to find it again. Yep. It was that first you time, know, that but... first feeling, and that shit is never coming back. But mm. especially him having the money. Because, dude, I think about stuff like that. You know, when I had experimented with stuff when I was mm. younger, and you think about experimenting with drugs and all that stuff, and then you imagine if you were a millionaire, like right. how, we, you know, we would scrape together for for an eighth of weed right, right but imagine if you were fucking rich and you was like yeah just give me a pound immediately right like right. <laughs> and then do that with coke do that with ecstasy right. do that with whatever else right. like i mean man. these guys are just fucking it's like me you know getting a nickel bag right now how they just like, yeah get that give me a fucking couple pounds and it's nothing yeah yeah i if you got the money why the fuck not yeah, that's why, like, I never fault people because it's got to be tough to imagine with anything having the access to pretty much unlimited, you right. know. You know, good milli worth. 
Speaking of a milli worth, nigga. So the boy Curtis Fittison Jackson. Yeah. Signed the boy Takashi 69, one milli. What the sticky up? Shout out to the shortest names of every song, Gummo Billy. Cuda. <laughs> it's very, like we said before. I give it to him though, man, because people are going to remember it because it's one, like, it's right. not like. It's very simple. Yeah. It's very simple. He's to the point. He's got energy. His songs are short. So it keeps people enthralled mm-hmm. and keeps them pulled in. And it's like, yes, yes, this is my eyes open. There's a lot of niggas in this video. 800 gang members. Yep. Everybody's aggressive. Two everybody's, puppies. You know what I mean? Two puppies. Everybody's wilding the fuck out. And that's just like he speaks to that newer generation. They's like, that's where they're at right now. Like, fuck everything, fuck everything. It's short, the yep. short mind span of what they're, you know, they want quick in and out, quick in and out, quick in and out, you know? I enjoy that he's bringing back energy right. to it, though, because, you know, it's now it's cool to not give a shit about anything. Now it's cool to not care about anything. Now it's cool to, like, not even open up your mouth when you're speaking. And I'm not talking right. like, yeah, they do the mumble rap, but you see some of these dudes getting interviewed, and right. like, it's tough to listen yeah, to. Yeah, so yeah, boy. Yeah, you know I mean? like I, I, you know, and it's like <sighs> watermelon. Listen up, uh, my niggas in the south. Come on, bro. So I, I feel like uh, I, I know this, and it's fucked up. I gotta blame the south because educationally uh, uh, speaking, down there, they just they ain't up to par. They ain't up to yeah. stuff on niggas. They don't give them what they need, and. You know, then when you hear motherfuckers talk, I feel like it's such a setback for us as black people in the in the communities. Like these motherfuckers come up there and start sounding, "I love a holy head blood." You will make up there, and it's kind of like, yeah, even up north when we talk our slang, at least there's some education behind the shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, uh, New York had set the bar. Well, everything moves fast in New York, anyways. The cities, everything's rotating through, but like them country niggas is like, man, who? There's some draw. There's a serious it, draw and, in and, there, and, and then. Uh, Shout out to the country dudes that are smart and even got the draw, but they still know how to handle their business. Yep. Some of them is like, you really don't know what's going on, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Because there's a big difference between like, think of like um, Big Boy from Outcast. Right. You can understand what he's right. saying. Right, right. Big know? Boy, fucking ludicrous. You don't even forget he's from Georgia. Like, yeah. He's from Georgia, you know what I'm saying? Like, But you could tell they're probably more educated. Mm-hmm. But, but even like T.I., T.I. is very well spoken and yep. all that other stuff. Like You can actually understand what he's right. saying, which right. is... And then he get his little wody shit out there. Yeah, yeah. But some niggas just ain't from that way, and they just have that, you know... Yeah, Wally Hill, bro. You yeah. know, but and a lot of that's the lean too that right. slows people it down. Is. A lot of the, that codeine lean will just have you on some. And I find like them Florida niggas are hard to understand, like like stitches in them sometimes. Oh, yep. Hill, you know, it's like the fuck is y'all. Speaking of Florida niggas, I um <laughs> not to run away from Takashi because that's a big fucking. We'll, deal we'll right come back. There. We'll come yeah. back to it. No, um, got it written down. Let me underline it. Yeah, underline it, nigga. Red, red underline, nigga. That means man. And important. if you got any uh, uh shit that you want to talk about, Takashi six nine two zero three five nine four six nine seven seven. Leave mm-hmm. a message. Go with the sticky out. Oh, sticky. Gumbo. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, but nigga, I I, I guess because I kind of like never really paid attention, but did the, the weight loss of the Ross? Oh, that, yeah, the yeah. The Ross loss? I, I, the Ross loss. Ross loss, uh, Ross. <laughs> I, I never really seen it until not too long ago. Like, holy shit, that nigga really. Um, yeah, he, he thinned he up. It down. Nigga, was it the wings? Was it? Wings? I think it was, he was about to die, man. Because well, yeah. he had a. He had like a run. Oh, that's right. He was in the hospital and shit, right? He had like two seizures in one day and then mm. this new thing, whatever that was. Right. I don't know what the fuck that was. I, but had, yeah, I think from, the doctor had the real come to Jesus meeting with him on some like, like hey, you know, change or it's over with. You right. know? All that money on that Bentley shit, uh, Maybach music, nigga, it's going to be laid back in the casket music. Nigga. True. <laughs> and that's the nigga that was talking about. He, he, he used to talk about eating honey buns with American cheese melted on top. Yes. Yeah, you know what? That's the taste <laughs> test we got to do. Yeah, I'll try it. I never did, but. We, that is the taste test we got to do, man. Because it's for you, Ross. I remember hearing about that. Yeah. You know, we got to find that interview. And we got to do it just because I remember he explained it. He was just like, you get the honey bun, put the right. piece of cheese on it, put it in a microwave for a certain amount of time. We'll have to buy he, a microwave just for this. <laughs> I think he gave the particulars yeah, he did. of the kind of cheese. It might have been crafts in the, in the single uh, individual plastic wrap. Yeah, it might have been like not real cheese. Yeah, no Atlanta like, like, uh, Lake shit. We're talking some craft singles, nigga. <laughs> yeah. But, I can't you know, say that I want to try it, but I am intrigued. Because, yeah. you know, there's people, they put cheese on like apple pie and shit. Yes. And it, and in my mind, I don't get it. You know, I did have, because I'm a fan of Brie cheese. One, two, Brie. <laughs> Brie with me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> then you got a Brie. One into the two. Two into the three. <laughs> but they fucking, uh, 
like brie is it comes in like a wheel you know my mother usually ch- it's a like, soft cheese it's yeah a soft it's got cheese. a hard top kind of so you, you chop a top on it and um you can fold crust on it like a pie crust you fold it over but people do when they fold it over they put like a, a cranberry or some kind of sweet uh, essence right there on top and they fold it in and it's like the cheese and I, I kind of I get it it kind of makes sense so apples and cheese I think I would try but you know apples and peanut butter that's kind of sweet but apples and cheese is not really sweet it's it's a weird deal yeah I, I said you know, apples and peanut butter that's stupid that's sweet on sweet but you know what mm. I mean sweet on sweet on sweet yeah but uh you know I give it a shot. I say, fuck it, man. Let's let's try that. Yeah, one, we'll man. have to try that taste test we next time. The roast, both. And, and then I think it's got to be the honey buns with the icing on it. From the yeah, yeah, yeah. The icing honey. Because I think he was talking about. He might have been talking about jail doing shit. it in jail. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it might jail have been shit. that. But because I think he rapped about it, and then someone had asked him about the. Hey, do you really do this? And uh, he was like, Yeah, and then explained it all. Yeah. So we'll, well have to do that. Being a CEO, uh, being an inmate. Uh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You it was funny, me. too, because I remember when that whole shit went down, to bring it back to 50, 50 was like, yo, all you had to say was you got a job as a fucking CEO to right. get in with the inmates to get better connects for your coke. <laughs> there was your out, you fucking <laughs> dickhead. I remember 50 was like, you had an out. Yeah, right. Like, that could have been the lie that you told that, you, but fuck. That, but that ruins his gangster, though. And I don't know if anybody ever vouched for niggas for uh, Rick Ross and Street. I've seen some interviews about 50. And it was like some cats vouching for him. Like they said, yo, 50 was out there in them streets. Like, cause he, they said he was always a boxer with his hands. Yep. You know, he said, no, he used to like, he he ran block. He's like in 94, 95 in that, in that block in, in, uh, in Queens or wherever. He said, if you was pumping out there, you got that shit from him. He said, mm. that nigga was hard out there and he was knocking motherfuckers out. You know what I mean? Even said, the, game, the game, like after they beefed, even the game was like, no, no, I saw 50 smack shit out of a couple guys. You yeah, know what I mean? Like yeah, even like, the yeah, game was like, like yeah, he was yeah, he really on does this. Like, it's like, nah. And they said 50, and I could see his demeanor. Like when somebody said, because his approach sometimes would be, they said, you wouldn't see it coming. Because he'd come and be like, yeah, you know, everything cool. Yeah, what up? You know, he just talk smooth, smooth, and just fucking boof. And dupe a nigga Boop just, you know what I mean? Just hit a motherfucker, knock him out cold, like, and then tell him why he did it. You know what I mean? But they Doof said, him, then boof him. Nah, they say he was heavy in his cheeks. <laughs> oh, it's a shit. doof and boof combo, cuz. <laughs> it's the L number seven right there, nigga. <laughs> Lunch special. <laughs> oh, my God. We, you want you want doof and boof? <laughs> We yeah. might have to remix uh, YG Tooter and Boot It. <laughs> do for them, boo for them. I do for them, boo for them. Oh, man. Oh, oh. Oh. Get knocked out and raped around here. <laughs> That's insane. That is but, so funny. You know, so Takashi's under the right nigga. Uh, we'll that see. Knows because, about that game shit, you know what I mean? But you know what is interesting, too? Barring the game, when 50 Cent falls out with cats, it really. Well, nah, I'm wrong because when he fell out with Young Buck, that was huge. Right. When he fell out with Lloyd they and all them, that was pretty with big. It. But you know, like, even that shit that was staged with him and um, Kanye for record sales. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, they staged like a little beef there. Them motherfuckers like brothers and, and shit. And that's where Fifty fucked up though, because he was like, "If I lose, I'm never making a CD again." And people were like, "Oh, word." <laughs> so he yeah. fucked up in saying that, but yeah, yeah, yeah right. no, I know what you mean. Because well, that was. How he got into the game. I mean, how to rob. That's how he. Yeah, right. How to rob an industry. Man, man. we used to um, that was a great fight. listen that to that shit on tape forever, yeah, man. I, I love that. Me and my one, boy man. Walter. That, that shit like, was insane. That shit on again, man. Dude, because we were like, you know, we're we're white kids, not in the hood. And like when we would go and get the tapes out in Ansonia, I forgot the spot of the record store, mm. but like we would get the mixtapes. And then like you hear this guy and you're like, oh, and this was before everybody knew he got shot right, nine times. Right. This was way before that. Because this is like, I mean, nobody. I can't think of a song before that of somebody airing out that many people at once. I've never Dude. heard it. You know what I mean? Maybe some personal beef here and there or people take some subliminal shots. Yeah. No, this motherfucker talking about everybody straight through. And it's yeah. like niggas is at home like, this nigga just mentioned me? Right. Big Pun was mad as fuck because he called him fat. Nigga, it's true. But, you know, listen. Yep. <laughs> See, I snatch his chain and run. Nigga, four in a pound. You going to catch me, son. <laughs> yeah, man. It's like niggas giggle like, yo, that's kind of true. <laughs> I remember we we were listening to it like, holy shit. Like, this dude is like, he must be Superman or some shit, Right, you it's know? like a death wish. So he can relate to how Takashi coming out right now. Yep. He fucking with the right niggas. Like, yeah. I know what it's like to be hated, nigga. You are doing the right thing, young man. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to show you how to get it. And I'm going to be a part of it. And I'll say Takashi, he does seem like he's open to be molded and shown how to do it the right way. Like, right. I think... 
to me, as long as like he doesn't start trying to make him make love songs and radio records and shit like right. that, like keep the dude making fucking hardcore he's music. Do keep thing. him doing that. And that's what he's got to watch for because he, he, you know, he like you said, he created that buzz. He put it with his team. Yeah. They did that. Fifty throwing you a million and looks good, well and all good, but it's kind of like if he starts dabbling with certain things, you're gonna lose your steam. Like I'll never forget when Fifty Cent made a song with Justin Timberlake, and I was like, "Fuck, dude, come <laughs> on!" You know what I mean? Oh, it's AO technology. Shit, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, it wasn't good. It was, yeah. you know, it wasn't bad. It was for that right. weird era thing, but it wasn't good. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, and there's a big difference between making songs with Akon and making songs with Justin Timberlake. Right. Big fucking difference, right. you know? You know, and, and Timberlake got some shit. I mean, even if he could have did something a little better, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but the AO technology, like. I mean, it was cool for what it was, but it wasn't like, damn, fit, really? Yep. But, you know. Because for me, I want to hear 50 Cent talk about slapping people in the head with right. a gun. I want to hear 50 Cent talk about fucking people up and how rich he is and right. all that other stuff. Right. But, like, but then I have to I have to tip the hat because that ladies market is real. L, yeah, yeah. L has paid the way for y'all niggas to know that ladies market yep. is real. Drake, no. <laughs> yeah. Ja Rule used to know. You know and then yeah. <laughs> to 50, that's why 50 not snubbed him out. Like, nigga, I want, yep. I want that market you in. <laughs> You know what I mean? I'm gonna take that. The nigga worked out, got mm-hmm. chiseled up. Ladies love that shit. Oh my god, he is sexy and he's he's dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> the nigga's been shot, girl, in the face. Right? That shit was like, dimple. I'm scared when I'm around him. Right. But that turns me on. It turns you know? me on. Right. They love it, man. I, I tell you, I did um um some background work for uh what movie was that? Righteous Kill. Oh yeah, yeah. And Fifty Cent was in it. Pacino, De Niro, um, me and fucking Ill, shout out to Ill there. We went <clears throat> and did background work. Well, first, our uncle, my uncle fucked up and told me they're taking auditions. I went down with a press kit. The days of press kits, nigga. Mm-hmm. We're down with the press kit. Like, we about to audition to be in this movie, nigga, rapping. Yeah. We went there, they're like, we got CDs and shit, and folders in hand. They're like, no, nah, no, nah, we're doing headshots for the background club scene. Oh, right, right. I knew that, right? Yeah, yeah. So they called us to be in the fucking movie, but, um, so all day they paid us. It was like a good hundred and seventy dollars a day. Fed us and shit. Got to see Pacino, De Niro, and Fifty on the scene. Jim Jones did balling all fucking day. I got tired Ooh, of that. Song. That's rough. I hated it. At the end of that day, I yeah. said I hate that fucking song. Yeah, now. yeah. I heard it like eighty times though. But it was crazy with like Fifty. The way he would interact in between takes is oh man, he was he was fucking with these girls hard. Yeah. You know. All right, cut. All right, let's bring it back and do it again. And he's walking back. And he's he come by and give a look. Touch her on the elbow type shit, and they start, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, gig, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like one chick, he did it to. Her. I said, oh, so, oh, so, oh. I, I said something to her like, oh, you got a fan there? Or something joking around. She goes, yeah, I, I was at, it. I, I know him. I was at his house, <laughs> bitch. We all know him. <laughs> what the fuck? Is, he was right? at his house. Okay, we all know who he is. You got a fat ass, and you were in the, you you showed it off. He pulled you in the mix. Yep. And you probably slept with an entourage member. You probably got you were, exactly them chicks are settled sleeping with the with a nigga with the crew. Oh yeah. Just to get that close. Like I seen 50 from afar while I was fucking this man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, it's I sad. mean, I know he was in another room right. of the house that I was in. So it was, you know, it was cool. He heard cool. me moaning though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like that's So just, he know I could do something. Right. You know? that's, that's just that boo. You fucking the, the security guard. All right. That's amazing. I know niggas that was security. Shout out to my man. I ain't gonna say his name, but he told me some stories of yeah. he worked for a team um, that they they had to do a lot of uh, hip hop acts and shit. And he said, "Yo, the shit chicks would do to get close to the acts." Yep. Security came out on top and yeah, on yeah. top, like, on top. Look, I suck y'all niggas' dick. Let me just yeah, go yeah. back there. <laughs> like, Blow you to get through. Right. That's what it is. <laughs> He's like, "All right, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Now yep. Go back there." You know, check IDs first. He said, "Yo, it was real there. Always, especially when they, the artists want to do a hotel party, like niggas would." Pick like, yo, shorty with the red, boom right there with the fat ass. Get her, 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 yeah, her, yeah. Her. Now do your job. Check IDs. Check on IDs. Cell phones stay with us. That's how mm-hmm. you do it. Yo, check IDs. Cool. Cell phones run them. Y'all ain't going back there with no shit. Yeah, yeah. Y'all about to get real freaky back there. Ain't nobody setting these niggas up. Right. These millionaires and shit. You know what I mean? Um, speaking of Fifty Cent, my literal rap of the week, and I'm not, it's not that it's going to be every week, but when I hear a song and I think of the literal one. I'm going to bring it out, and this is when you take a rap line literally and it becomes hilarious. And 50 Cent once said, "Mm -hmm." Talk to him. Gorilla unit, cuz. 
brother. We thugged out because we don't go nowhere without toast. We thugged out. And now if you imagine that 50 Cent has his entourage and he's in the club and his breakfast toast is with him at all times. And like, we don't go nowhere without toast. Just, Supermarket. That's already at there. all times, like, we you know have I mean? toast. Barbershop toasting it. <laughs> My kid's school play. Toasting, toasting it. it. <laughs> we don't go nowhere without toast. Nowhere without toast. That's the thing that I love slang like that because you're just like, when you take it literally, you're like, nowhere? Like, you're in the pool and you got toast with you. You're in a shower, you got toast you with you. take a shit with toast on your lap. Right? Just butter <laughs> that's it. Who, that's what we do it. We don't go nowhere without toast. Oh, okay. Man. So the So the butter... Is the bullet in the toast? Mm. Melt. Let it niggas. burn something. Let it burn. melt something. Woo. But the toast. But then sometimes niggas call it the toaster. That's now the, I'm confused because it's a toaster. Uh, then onto the burner. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the but burner. is the burner of the toast? It, Listen, <laughs> I stay with a burner, nigga. This nigga likes to cook. Mm. <laughs> he stay with a with a pilot, cuz. <laughs> you know about a pilot light. <laughs> you know about it, nigga. I know a million dollars a lot of fucking money for a young one, uh, wild young nigga with a lot of gang influence. <laughs> yeah. And that'll be interesting, too, to see now if he has to leave some people behind. And then you see the entourage hop online of right. Takashi 6 9 up like, no, nah, man, him. we used to be running right. together and then he left us for 50. And yeah. yeah. Because he might tell him, uh, you know, and he going to show him how to make a, a, a record. If 50, if 50 is gone, he ain't gonna be stupid. Like, no, we're gonna make a we're gonna make a joint together. Yep. I'm gonna let you do you, but I'm gonna kind of put my shit in it too. Yeah. You know, 50 gonna get a guest appearance on a song or two. And of course. he does how he did with Game. And uh, you know, Game's album was hot, but not for nothing. When you listen to that album, uh, that shit was 50 all the way. Every oh, yeah. fucking hook, you're like that. You put 50's voice mm -hmm. there, like, yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, all the songs, right. and it's true too because all the songs that like you would still remember from the game that if they would come on now they're from that first album yeah. and they're from that and he's made other cool songs right. since but, but game say when they, the game does this whole modest he tries to be like oh, over like yo he helped me out a little bit nigga what <laughs> he did the whole fucking every hit you had was that nigga yeah you yeah. know like the underdogs and like it delivered the underdog on top like yep. nigga just say it like 50 you'll be like yeah that's a fifty. Yep. That's a fifty. That's it. Nigga. Like he, he probably had a whole album and then gave you his shit. Yeah, that was his shit. Like, huh, nigga, go ahead, eat that. I'm gonna help you out, little mm -hmm. G. We gonna make it. We gonna make it. Yeah, take that. We gonna with, make it. Run with that shit, nigga. But yeah. someone that didn't make it was uh, oh, oh. P Diddy to Craig Mack's funeral. <laughs> <laughs> Shame we on you. Smooth <laughs> transitions around here. <laughs> Shout out as about as smooth as that nigga hairline. Yo, that nigga Diddy. That's pretty fucked up and. Seeing his um him talking about him, and plus that was his first fucking artist bad, bad boy. boy yeah, that's a goddamn shame to me. Yep, come on, that's your first artist. You can't even show up to the nigga funeral. Mm -hmm. But and it was real. Like I don't know where Diddy was. Perhaps why he couldn't get to the funeral. Something like that. Maybe he had a previous obligation. Obviously, you don't know when the fuck people are gonna die. <laughs> but whatever it was, whether it was a YouTube video or his Instagram video that he took of like. Halfway laying down, scrunched up in bed of like, yeah, man, Craig Mack was cool, man. He was the first right. artist. Holding we love him. We're going to miss him. Like the, uh, the and it was card. like, man, you're fucking like, you couldn't have stood up to do that. Right. You know? Like that, you, was, that was right. No, no heartfelt nothing. You're laying down with a prayer card. Then it's like, you couldn't make it, but who the fuck shipped you a prayer card from the fucking service? Yeah. Like, did you get, you didn't get it online. Obviously, somebody, you sent <laughs> you somebody. Did, you did not download the prayer card. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you sent somebody, like, you sent niggas for cheesecake. You said, yo. Right. Go up there, stop at Junior's first, and go get that prayer card yeah, and come back. Get that prayer card. But, you know, that that's pretty fucked up. You yeah. Know? But, I mean, what's pretty fucked up, too, is nobody famous showed up. That's what I heard, too, yeah, is right. that, like, nobody famous showed the up. The nigga and... had some people he knew, I'm sure. <laughs> you he would had, think, right? He had a couple hit. I mean, Flavor in Your Ears, still, a, it was a banger, you know what I'm yep. saying? I forget who said it, but somebody, ah, I forget what interview it was, but another rapper had talked about that Craig Mack was making the calls about okay. like he knew that he was going to pass away and oh, like okay. that he didn't necessarily like go out and hang out with people because he didn't want people to see him in a state that he was in right but after someone passes you still man you go to the fucking uh right. wake Just you know respect. all that was he was he did he have cancer or something I'm not sure what uh, he had I thought he had like a heart attack I just, but I mean shit all in all that motherfucker was only 40 what three or something damn young motherfucker man yeah 
Born in yeah. 70. Yeah. <laughs> born in 71. That's crazy. 71. Yeah, and that man was young, man. But, you know, I mean, shout out to the ugliest face in uh, music. But the nigga, uh, <laughs> rest in peace, Craig Mac, man. Mm-hmm. You ain't, you ain't, you wasn't the beautiful. And I feel man. bad for him, too, because remember that he had him and Biggie at the same time. It was Craig Mac, and they right. had the Big Mac promotion yep. and shit yep. like that. And then Biggie took off, and he was just like, what about Bye, Craig. <laughs> Bye, Craig. Bye, Craig. <laughs> Bye, Craig. Like, nigga's like, what about me? My afro was tight, like before Steve Harvey right. shit was, but whatever. He <laughs> just, just shitted on me and my shit, you know. Right. But, you know, I shout out to Craig Mack. Rest in peace, niggas. We love you. Mm-hmm. I didn't make it either, so I ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> sure, I don't know if it was open to the public. I don't know where the fuck it even was. Who knows? Right. That shit was in a, a, a Barbados or some shit. <laughs> right. But uh, once again, for a glorious transition, mm. speaking of men that are no longer here, Caitlyn Jenner <laughs> is... <laughs> Get it! Get it! <laughs> Woo! Caitlyn Jenner. Talk to that him. You had told me <laughs> that I could not fucking believe is 68. 68. With a, wow. What it, a six children? Six fucking kids at 68. Uh, yeah. And so Living I think marathon about it like, life. That nigga came out less. He had to be over 60. Over six. He came out less than eight years ago. Yeah, that was right. That's like five years. I would maybe, say maybe even, maybe five. Yeah, maybe yeah, five. Five years ago, the nigga came out. So he was in his sixties and just had I don't know what kind of made him come out. Like man, I've been fucking cross dressing for the last thirty yeah. years. I'm tired of hiding. I think it, it could have <laughs> been that whole just like, hey, if I'm gonna do it, when am I gonna do it? You know. And even if he lives in um, uh, scrutiny, that right. he's still at least doing what he wants to do, right. which is an interesting choice. But and even not. Him, I don't necessarily blame for certain things, but who the fuck gave him Women of the Year? Like, <laughs> their w- Woman of the Year, yeah, you know? That's pretty because fucked up. he's so brave. I under because <laughs> I understand. You know who's brave? Whoever eats lobster from McDonald's. Those motherfuckers are brave. Like, no taste test there. Listen, you could be right, man. We, oh, I don't know if I could do that one. No, I, I'd, I'd probably give it a go <laughs> because, um, like, the brave thing is weird because. This man that is now trans... Well, see, that's even the other fucking thing. You still got a dick, you know? But <laughs> When it's chopped off. But I, I digress. Say, yeah. <laughs> even the whole brave thing, it's like, you're a millionaire plenty of times over. So the brave thing, eh, you can hide in your house for the rest of your life if right. you want to and still dress like a woman and right. do all that it's stuff. It's not going to so, be like, you can't get a job because you're this way because yeah. you, you can't work at the grocery store because the, you know, the owner of the grocery store is a homophobe. Yeah. Or you know what I mean? It's like... You can buy your way. When you got money, you can buy your way in any situation, man. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, no, I'm, I'm going to be a woman today, and that's it. My money's mm-hmm. green. They'd be like, okay, you, you got it, ma'am. Right? <laughs> do what you want to do. Shit. Yeah, you know, you want to get it chopped off? So what's the big holdup? I thought, like, you should be able to just get it chopped off. I don't I did Well, that's the other thing, too, is a lot of in that community and with the being trans for some people, mm. there's a lot of regret sometimes. There's the suicide rate is also crazy in job. trans. Yeah, oh, yeah man. man, because sometimes people make that decision and then listen, like there's things that I regret that I've done in my life, but imagine if you fucking <laughs> chopped your dick off, <laughs> tucked it under, now you have a vagina, you got the dress, you got the tits, you got the hair to make up all that stuff, and then you just go I fucked up. You know what I mean? Like, that's a tough one to, to reel back right, in. You right. know what I mean? And I wonder, like, you know, weird shit. Like, do, is, do they get us? Do they fucking create some sort of sensation? How does that work? You feel like they can't feel anything but, like, uh, a numbness, a numb throbbing. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm not sure because from what I think happens, because I think I've seen some stuff about it, is I think that they do slice the penis and put it up in there so oh. i think you know like still so maybe it's like, that, a, it's like a fifi yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so i think they don't necessarily you know like chop off the dick i think they like split it and put it in somehow split it but in. Oof. yeah it's, it's not oh. like um Good doof it and boof it you know what <laughs> I mean? so, who knows yo that is complete knockout game I, I, yeah I, I don't understand it man you know i guess the way he was in a, a she or whatever the oh, she uh, was in the tabloid thing. I guess another first for Caitlyn is going to her first bridal shower as Caitlyn. Yeah. Uh, amongst the drama between her and Kim. Oof. They haven't talked in a year. I don't know what that beef's about. 
Yeah, who knows? You know, probably Kanye. Right? It's got to be tough, nah, too. Nah, Cam. I'm not going to have that thing around my daughter, <laughs> Cam. <laughs> yeah, man. It's got to be tough to, like, explain that to other... Well, and I remember Kim Kardashian said something about she didn't get to say goodbye to Bruce. She just, like, found out I'm this Caitlin. is Caitlyn. And that's it. Take it and run with it. Yeah. Like, I, she's like, I like... Bruce, though. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Bruce had a lot of good memories of Bruce. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I don't know even, do you know, does Caitlyn have breasts? I haven't seen uh, too many I, pictures. I think so. I think he's selling beak up. Mm. Uh, I think there was like some small implants put in there. That's or maybe it's all padded and stuff. I think I think there was actual surgery. Yeah. I think so. But isn't it weird? Is it, isn't, I don't know the, the subgenres, <laughs> the, the names or titles. Oh, the ones I guess he dresses like a woman, but he still likes women. Is that is that? Yeah, I don't know what, what that into? falls into, but I believe so because I remember there was a big uh, hubbub after he or she changed or whatever, where it was asked about gay marriage and was right. still kind of like, "Well, I don't know if gay should be married." And it was like, "Bro, <laughs> like you're on some that. other stuff. I that. Like you're 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 doing something. <laughs> like that gay can't shouldn't be... be married at all. I but I'm not gay." Yeah. I like women. So you want to be a, a, a gay, you want to be a lesbian. You want to be a gay woman. Like, I want to be a lesbian too, but I just want to keep my dick. <laughs> yeah. Because I like women. So does that make me a lesbian? I don't so, know. <laughs> exactly. So then that's the thing. So is you want to be a woman that has the breasts. And of course, once again, there is nothing wrong with whatever people want to do. That's fine. Because right. also I'm, I'm big on like accept but i don't have to celebrate it you know what i'm saying right. where like i thing. accept whatever anybody wants to do that right. isn't gonna hurt anybody else like, that uh, shit is completely that's fine like, that's that that power move like uh <laughs> takashi did to charlamagne you gonna congratulate me <laughs> thank you <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly. that shit like i'm gay you gonna congratulate me like right. all right, okay damn why you gotta yeah. fuck me all right you gay all right yep <laughs> that's that thing and, and i feel like not all i don't know a percentage but i do know that certain where certain gay people, it's not enough just to be like, oh, you're gay? Cool. Yeah, good for you. They want it to be like, no, you, you need to be Hello. next to me in the parade. You know how you know how hard it was for me to say that? Exactly. Yeah, back in 84 and uh, back in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, nigga, it's 2018. Mm -hmm. Niggas don't give a shit no more about that. You know what I mean? You being gay, you no. gay. I don't understand why. It's I, I look at hey man more pussy for me cool like, <laughs> whatever the other one bites the dick I yeah. do <laughs> <laughs> like cool man you, you're you're knocked out of the race you know yeah, but right. it's, it's it's interesting with yeah but but back to Caitlyn real quick so it's like are you trying to be a a woman that has a penis but still likes women right. And I don't know what that is. But what is that? Do you it, penetrate? Is or that is it not just... considered lesbian? Or I don't know. I don't know what, what it is. You and know? I you I'm, so... I'm not mad at it by right. any means, but it's just an interesting it's just, like... it's, it's, it's a topic, man. This is what we do. 203 Let us know if we're on the right track. Let uh. us know if we're like, like <laughs> oh my God, you guys are fucking pigs. Right. You guys are if, fucking pigs. Yeah, uh, if you think we're homophobic, that's fine. So we'll talk about it. We'll right? I promise you, I'm not, man. Like, I, I'm, I'm big with the acceptance. But you don't. I don't have to celebrate what you're doing. Right. You know what I mean? Like, because I, I accept whatever anybody wants to do that isn't hurting me or right. isn't hurting anybody I else. Ain't, listen, I ain't scared of another dick when it comes to a dildo, and I'm banging my girl. Exactly. <laughs> baby, put that in. You. I use an extra. Look, this is another dick, baby. I ain't scared. Right. You know what I mean? I'm holding this shit, ain't I? <laughs> I will not lick it. <laughs> <laughs> we got lube over here. We got lube. That I've gone too far. Bring me back. <laughs> Bring me back. But man, it's a crazy situation because now you got people with um, it's it and it has gone too far in certain situations right. of people that are uh, fluid is one of the new things to where uh, from, you know, nine o'clock in the morning till noon, I can be a man. And then from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m., I oh. can be a woman. Shift and then for yeah, <laughs> shift change. Shift change. Yeah, we'll be back shift change. That shift change, change, change. Change to the guards, nigga. Change, change to the guards. 
What? But that's the thing where wow. people then want you to. Well, no. Well, I mean, for right now, from at nine p.m., I feel like a woman. So you need to call me a woman, and you need to address right. me as a woman, and I'm a woman. And then and they get mad at me if I don't. And do then it properly. Hey, it's eleven o'clock. Now I'm back to being a man. Now right. I'm back to being Paul. So now you need to call me Paul. Right. Get it and right. And then at one p.m., hey, I'm back to Susan. So you need to call. <laughs> like that stuff is. Go oof. Kill, yo, go go. I don't want to say go kill yourself. That's bad. Don't kill yourself. Nah. <laughs> but kill that idea. That idea needs to get suicide in the head. Yeah, that uh, maybe like you might have some stuff that you need to go talk to somebody and figure out because that right. that could be schizophrenic shit. You're that right. could That's be you multiple know personality shit. I don't and know now what that is. You're fighting like schizophrenia. Is the fighting for rights now? I guess <laughs> like yeah, protect us. Uh, we have rights too, schizos. You must. Like, now they're going to get social security numbers for every fucking one of their personalities. <laughs> yeah, well, yo, if you had to, yo, listen, bars, if you had to pay taxes on each one of those personalities, I bet you'd have one fucking personality real quick. Real quick. I bet you'd real go back to, no, 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 it's just me, Paul. It's, it's, just, just, it's just, just Paul. It's just Paul. Secret identities yeah, yeah, yeah. on the low. Yeah. It's just Paul. Hey, you go, make them niggas pay for them personalities. Right? You want us to identify yourself? You want to beat down on us? Like, nigga, I'm Paul, and then I'm with you. Ah, right, you make it confusing? All right, nigga, now you got to pay taxes, nigga. <laughs> For every one of them niggas you are, you must pay. Right. Like that nigga Beast and fucking uh, Split, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he paid for every one of them niggas. Pay for him. That shit is hilarious. I, I, I can't, uh, you know, don't put that on me. You do what right. you do, but don't don't make me feel guilty for not jumping in this uh, celebratory way with you. Like, yeah. Do your thing. I don't give a fuck. You exactly. And, and, and it's weird that some people have a problem with that. They're because I don't give a fuck. It exactly. Makes you, it makes you because they want people to fucking pay attention and they want people. And obviously, this is not for all or for everybody, but right. there's a certain amount of people that are like, no, I'm whatever I am, express it. And then I want you to celebrate it and talk to me about it. And okay, but right. having the indifference of like, okay, cool, that's what you right. want to do. People get mad at that, right. which is well, weird. If Martin Luther King could get a day, then what? what I, I, are you motherfuckers really gonna compare that shit? Right? <laughs> you gonna compare like the uh, a culture struggle to? Um, it's the struggle. Uh, uh, I mean, can we have like heterosexual rights with certain things? Like, no. you guys have all the rights, that's bro. The, I'm that's the, what the come back with you, <laughs> bro. I'm the most dangerous person in in the world right now with no fucking right. I'm a heterosexual white man. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Can't do that anymore. <laughs> Pig! Exactly. <laughs> That's it. Just it's, You're fucking Weinstein in his fullest, baby. Right? It's crazy, man. You know, I, you know, these motherfuckers out there exist, and they fuck it up for good people. Yeah, I'm a heterosexual white man that can celebrate none of that. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can't do it. Nope. Because I'm, I'm a man. I'm an asshole. I'm white. I'm racist. Right. I can't just say I love pussy and get away with it? Nope. Nope. <laughs> then, then you're being aggressive. You're being right. microaggressive. Right, right, and you're right. triggering people. And you're... And it's... Listen, hey. so what you got to do is you got to find a woman that says, oh, I love it when you say you love pussy. <laughs> right? I love like, it when you say you love like, pussy. I love, I love my girl for that. Like, she let me talk dirty and greasy. And she appreciates it. Loves it. So, you know, mm -hmm. that works man you know it lets me be me work, work, you, know work, I mean? work, work. you appreciate it when i be me and you run with me hold my hand in this forest of truth <laughs> <laughs> skip with me <laughs> run through this garden <laughs> yeah man the truth. world's crazy though but you know what if the world wasn't crazy we mm. wouldn't be able to do a show like this mm -mm, show mm -mm. number 13 man and, and we're about to wrap it up we appreciate it, you for it. joining us once again mm -mm. on watermelon versus Pumpkin. V it's the fight that will last forever. <laughs> forever Actually, I think it's only going to last about 30 more years, and then white people are going to be a minority from what I heard, which I can't wait. <laughs> then it'll be pumpkin versus watermelon, Nick. Exactly. <laughs> think about it. Bars. Bars? Gems. And uh, we'd like to thank the lamp for finally uh, showing out at showing the end of the show. True testicular uh, fortitude. We appreciate it. Because <laughs> at the end of the day. Man, it's always the beginning of the night. And at the beginning of the night. It's the end of the day. Ooh, there's it's bars there. No, hey, listen, man. Once again, we appreciate you for joining us. Watching us on the video cast mm -hmm. on YouTube, mm -hmm. if you are. To find that, if you're just by chance listening to us, mm -hmm. man, just search Watermelon VS Pumpkin mm -hmm. Podcast, and you will find us on YouTube to be able to watch the beautiful men that we are. Oh, well, can we say men anymore? I'm not even sure if that's okay. Uh, male species, male species, male species. 
We put the homo in Homo sapien. Listen. <laughs> but uh, call the hotline, man. Mm. Once again, drop some knowledge. Talk some shit. Mm. If you, just leave your name if you want a shout out. That's 203-594-6977 for the hotline. Once again, mm-hmm. that's 203-594-6977. You can call mm-hmm. or text it. Text it. Man, we're on Apple, we're on iTunes, we're on Stitcher, Stitch. we're on Podcast Addict, mm. we're on Overcast, we're on Spotify, we're on Google Play. We out there. We out there, out there, good, out there, out there. And uh, watermelonversuspumpkin.com is BS. the home base. Watermelonvspumpkin.com. Mm. Mm. Get your fucking daylight saving shit together. <sighs> Listen, spring forward, all right? Mm. Episode 13. Peace. Shaft. Ah.